If you're from the new school, you may think Sharpie markers are fresh. But guess what? They've been around since 1964. And while it seems like a simple tool, the production process is far more complicated than you think. Curious to see how it all comes together? Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates. The birth of the Sharpie marker. Before Sharpie markers existed, people mostly used fountain pens, pencils, or basic markers that would smudge or fade quickly. Writing on different surfaces like glass or metal was nearly impossible without special tools. But that all changed in 1964 when the Sanford Ink Company introduced the first Sharpie permanent marker. Unlike regular markers though, this one had ink that dried quickly and stuck to almost anything. The secret behind the Sharpie's success was its alcohol-based ink. Instead of being water-based like many older markers, this ink evaporated faster, leaving a bolder, long-lasting mark. It also didn't smudge easily, making it a favorite among students, artists, and office workers. Then suddenly, people had a reliable way to label boxes, decorate surfaces, and even autograph memorabilia without worrying about the ink rubbing off. At first, Sharpies came in only black. But as demand grew, the company expanded the color options, adding red, blue, and green. And over the years, even more colors were introduced, including metallic shades and neon hues. Today, though, there are over 50 different colors, giving people endless creative possibilities. And as Sharpie markers became more popular, celebrities and athletes started using them for autographs, making them a must-have item for fans. As you already know, the brand continued to grow, and today it's one of the most well-known marker brands in the world. Now if the history of Sharpie markers intrigues you, subscribe to my channel to learn more about the origins of your favorite brands. The Ingredients Inside a Sharpie Now, you may think a Sharpie is just ink in a plastic tube, but there's actually some cool science behind how it works. The secret to a Sharpie's long-lasting ink lies in its special ingredients, which help it dry quickly and stick to almost any surface. The ink inside a Sharpie is made up of three main parts, solvents, pigments, and resins. The solvents, which include chemicals like propanol, butanol, and diacetone, alcohol, help keep the ink in liquid form until it reaches the surface. These chemicals evaporate fast, allowing the ink to dry quickly and stay in place. That's why Sharpies don't smudge as easily as other markers. Next, we have pigments, which give Sharpies their bold colors. Unlike dyes, which dissolve completely in liquid, pigments are tiny solid particles that stay suspended in the ink. This makes Sharpie marks more resistant to fading over time. The pigments are also chosen carefully to ensure they don't wash away easily, even when exposed to water or sunlight. Finally, resins act as the glue that holds everything together. They help the ink stick to different surfaces and prevent it from rubbing off. This is why Sharpies can write on materials like glass, metal, and plastic without wiping away easily. All these ingredients work together to create a marker that's reliable and long-lasting. But if you think this process is complicated, drop your thoughts in the comments below and we'll get back into the video. Creating the Marker Barrel Now a Sharpie might look simple on the outside, but making the plastic barrel is an important part of the process. The barrel isn't just there to hold the ink. It also has to be strong enough to last through hundreds of uses while keeping the ink fresh inside. The journey begins with tiny plastic pellets made from a material called polypropylene. Factories use polypropylene because it's lightweight, durable, and resistant to breaking. Then the pellets are poured into a machine that heats them to a high temperature until they melt into a thick liquid plastic. This process is called injection molding. Once the plastic is melted, it gets injected into metal molds shaped like Sharpie barrels. The molds are cooled quickly, causing the liquid plastic to harden into the perfect shape. Each barrel is then removed from the mold and trimmed to remove any extra plastic. This ensures that every Sharpie is smooth and comfortable to hold. After the barrels are shaped, they go through a quality check. Workers inspect them for cracks, uneven edges, or other defects. After that, they move on to the next stage. But before we get there, have you subscribed to our channel? It'll only take a second. Adding the Ink Reservoir Did you know that inside every Sharpie is a hidden part that plays a huge role in how it works? I'm talking about the Ink Reservoir. This small but important piece is what holds the ink and delivers it to the tip whenever you write. Without it, the ink would just slosh around inside the barrel, making a huge mess. 
The reservoir is made from a spongy material that looks a bit like cotton. This material is designed to absorb and hold the ink like a sponge, preventing it from leaking out all at once. The ink slowly travels from the reservoir to the tip through a process called capillary action, which means the ink moves naturally without needing any extra pressure. To make sure every Sharpie writes smoothly, workers carefully insert the reservoir into the barrel, by hand or with a machine. It has to fit perfectly inside, so it doesn't move around or cause leaks. Once it's in place, the next step is filling it with ink. Machines inject just the right amount of ink into the reservoir, making sure it's fully soaked but not overflowing. After the ink is added, workers test a few markers to make sure the flow is just right. If the reservoir is too dry, the markers won't work properly. If it's too full, the ink could leak out too fast. Then when everything looks good, the markers move on to the next step. But hey, which Sharpie ink color is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Preparing the marker tip. So the tip or nib of a Sharpie marker might look simple, but it goes through a very precise process to make sure it writes smoothly and lasts a long time. But unlike regular pens that use metal ballpoints, Sharpie markers need a tip that can absorb ink and release it evenly as you write. To make this happen, factories use a special type of material called porous plastic or synthetic fiber. This material is designed to hold ink while also allowing it to flow onto the surface when you press down. The process starts with a fine powder, which is mixed with water to create a thick paste. This paste is then shaped into the familiar cone-like tip using molds. The shape is important because it affects how smoothly the marker writes and how much ink flows out at a time. If the tip is too soft, it will wear down too quickly. If it's too hard, it won't absorb enough ink. Once shaped, the nibs are placed in an oven and baked at a high temperature. This hardens the material, making it durable enough to handle pressure when people write or draw. After baking, each tip is trimmed and polished to ensure a clean, sharp writing point. Some markers even have different tip styles, like chisel tips for bold lines, or fine tips for detailed writing. Once the tips pass inspection, they are sent down the production line, ready to be assembled into the markers. Filling the marker with ink. Now comes the fun part, the ink. Without it, a Sharpie marker would just be a plastic tube with a fancy tip. But filling it with ink isn't as simple as just pouring some liquid inside. There's a special way the ink is added to make sure it flows correctly and lasts a long time. Inside the marker barrel, there's something called an ink reservoir. It looks like a sponge or a long cotton tube, and it's designed to soak up the ink like a paper towel soaking up water. This keeps the ink from sloshing around inside the marker and helps it flow steadily to the tip. If you've ever used a Sharpie and noticed that it writes for a long time before running out, that's because of this smart design. In the factory, a high-precision machine injects the exact amount of ink needed into the reservoir, but the ink doesn't just sit at the bottom. It spreads evenly throughout the material, making sure the marker writes consistently until the very last drop. Once filled, the ink slowly moves toward the tip through tiny fibers in the reservoir, creating a smooth and steady flow. Sharpie ink is made from a mix of solvents, dyes, and other chemicals that make it permanent and quick drying. Some colors need different formulas to stay bright and bold on different surfaces. That's why black Sharpies might feel slightly different from red or blue ones when you use them. And once the ink is inside, the marker is almost ready to go. But don't you think you should share this information with your friends so they'll know how Sharpies are made? Hit the share button right away! Assembling the marker Now that the ink is added, it's time to put all the pieces together to create the final product. This step is more complicated than it looks because every part has to fit perfectly to prevent leaks, drying out, or messy ink spills. The first step in assembly is inserting the nib into the barrel. The tip has to be pushed in just enough so it soaks up the ink properly, but not too deep, or it won't reach the surface when you write. Machines press the nib firmly into place, and then a small ring or seal is added around it to hold it in position. This prevents the tip from falling out when you press down hard while writing. Next, the black plug is attached to seal the marker shut. This is an important step because it keeps air from getting inside and drying out the ink too quickly. Some Sharpie models even have a pressurized system to help keep the ink flowing smoothly. Now comes the cap, which plays a huge role in keeping the marker fresh. If you leave a Sharpie uncapped for too long, the ink will dry out and stop working. 
That's why Sharpie caps are designed with a tight seal to keep air from getting inside. They even have tiny ventilation holes to meet safety standards in case a child accidentally swallows one. Finally, every marker goes through quality testing to make sure it works perfectly. Workers take random samples from each batch and test them by writing with them to see if the ink flows properly and the nib holds up under pressure. If a marker doesn't meet the standards, it doesn't make it to the next step. Packaging and shipping. Now that the markers are fully assembled, it's time to get them ready for stores and customers. You may not think about this step much, but packaging is a big deal. It keeps the markers organized, protects them from damage, and makes them look appealing when you see them on store shelves. Sharpies come in different packs, single markers, two packs, or even huge sets with dozens of colors. Machines sort the markers by type and color before replacing them into packaging. Some are sealed in plastic, while others are packed in cardboard boxes. Factories have to be careful when stacking them because Sharpie tips are delicate and can get crushed if too much weight is on top of them. Once packaged, the markers are sent to a distribution center where they are sorted and loaded onto trucks. From there, they travel to stores all over the world. Some go to office supply stores, others to supermarkets, and many are shipped directly to online customers. The entire process from factory to store shelf might be complicated, but it happens surprisingly fast, ensuring that when you need a Sharpie, it's always available. Now head to the comments and tell us if you think there are better markers than Sharpies. And if you'd like to know more about how your favorite brands are made from scratch, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.